You have an NVIDIA GPU, but you are not completely optimizing your NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming. So guys, you are losing a huge part of your PC performance while gaming. Just you have to make sure to watch this whole video. So let's go straight into over this video. So guys, head over to your desktop screen, right click on your desktop and go for show more option and open up NVIDIA control panel on your PC. If you have opened it first time, you will find out this kind of screen. So click onto the agree and continue and open up nvidia control panel settings on your pc now here is the first screen that you will see with your any gpu now you have to go for the first settings that is 3d settings and under there you'll find out the settings that is the adjust image settings with preview so guys this is the most simple way of optimizing your nvidia settings automatically so guys you have to go for this option that is the use my preference and phasing if you need good visual quality, so guys go for quality, but if you need more performance while you're gaming, so guys you can set it toward the performance side. This is automatically apply every setting for you, but we are going to use the advanced 3D settings. So you have to go for it and set it on to the use the 3D settings. Now you have to click on the apply button and apply these changes. Now next you have to click on to the manage 3D settings and here you'll find a versatile amount of settings for the Nvidia. Now go for this global settings and this will impact your whole PC. So you have to go for the image scaling first of all and set it on to the off. Don't change the settings. Now go for the impression occlusion, simply go for it. Most of the time I suggest you to set it on to the off, but you can also go with the performance side. But again, I suggest you to set it off to not putting any burden on your GPU. The next here we got anti strop filtering, again set it on to the off. anti living FXAA, set it on to the off. Anti living gamma correction, turn it on. Anti living mode, set it on to the off. Now you have to scroll down, go for background application max frame rate, set it on to the off. Pura GPUs, set it on your old GPU. I have one GPU, so it doesn't matter if you have multiple GPUs, so go with all. Now next here we got Pura Sys fallback policy, set it on to the driver default settings. Next we got DSR factor. You can also simply guys turn off the settings this is actually for the virtual resolution so therefore i suggest you simply turn it off for not putting any extra burden on your gpu now next here we got low latency mode most of the time i go with the on but if you want to get some best results with some in-game settings so guys set it on to the ultra and in game make sure to guys enable the nvidia reflex for getting the low input lag while you're gaming now next here we got max frame rate so guys simply turn it off but if you are getting some problem with the G-Sync, so guys, you can go for it and set it on to the maximum amount of FPS. You can guys set it here, but most of the time I suggest to go with off. Now go for a multi-frame sample, turn it off, open GL GDI compatibility, set it on to the auto. Next here we got open GL rendering GPU, set it on to the auto select. Next here we got the power management mode. So go for it and set the settings onto the prefer maximum performance out of your GPU. This will use more your electricity, but help you to getting more performance out of your GPU. Now next here we got prefer refresh rate onto the application control. Next here we got shader cache, go for it and guys set it onto the 10 GB. Now next you have to go for texture filtering and distrop example. Turn it on. Texture filtering negative LOD BIOS set it on to the allow. These are the settings come from the NVIDIA profile inspector. So guys, you can guys now simply control it from the NVIDIA control panel itself. Next here we go texture filtering quality. So go for it. Set it on to the performance if you want to get more performance. Or set it on to the quality if you want to get more better visual quality. But I'm going with the performance because I need more FPS while I gaming. Next here we go thread optimization. So set it on to the auto. Next here we got a triple buffering, turn it off, virtual scene, turn it off, virtual reality pre rendered frame, set it onto the one, virtual reality variable rate super sampling, turn it off, and at the end, Vulkan open GL present mode, set it onto the auto. After bringing all these settings, click on the apply button and apply these settings inside your NVIDIA control panel. Now just go for the next settings that is the adjust desktop color settings. If you wanna get a more crispy color or more vibrance color, so guys, you can use these settings. Now you have to go for it, go for this digital vibrance, or guys simply set the setting onto the 60 to 70% according to your taste. But I'm going with the 50% because I do the editing on the um, on my computer, so therefore color is important for me hours look for the normal screen so therefore i'm going with the default settings but i suggest you if you are a gamer 
playing Fortnite, you guys try 60 or 70%. Now, apply the changes inside your NVIDIA control panel, now just simply close out of it. Now for the next step, you have to go for your Windows search and search for NVIDIA and guys, open up the NVIDIA app. If you not have this application, so guys, you can simply go on Google and search for NVIDIA app and download NVIDIA app beta version on your PC. This is the exchange for the NVIDIA GeForce experience. So guys, we got here the new interface. So you have to go for the driver section and guys, make sure to download the game ready driver on your PC. Always download the updated one. Now you have to go for graphic settings, go for global settings. And guys, here we have already optimized our settings inside through the NVIDIA control panel. Now go for system option and guys if you want to slightly overclock your GPU with some best GPU settings by the NVIDIA itself so you have to go for system tab, go for performance and from here you can enable this automatic tuning. NVIDIA will automatically find the best settings according to your GPU and guys it will apply that for you and also keep changing with the time according to your needs. So therefore personally I suggest you to guys turn on the settings, click on the I agree and continue and hit yes. And guys also keep in mind this is 100% safe and also recommended by the nvidia itself so guys it will take a few time for scanning your whole pc and find out the best settings according to your pc now once you are done with all the settings on your pc now just you have to simply close out of it but i'm minimizing it because it is running in my background now in the next step you need msi utility on your pc and you can get it from the link in the description this software will help you to getting the more performance out of your gpu so for installing the software on your pc you have to open up the link from description it will take you onto this website and here you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail and same title of my youtube video you are watching right now simply go for it and download this software on your pc after downloading the software, simply open up and here you will find out this kind of the interface. Now you have to simply find out your GP model from this list. So here we got our NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. You have to go for it. Go for this MSI, check mark onto this box. Now go for interrupt purity. Go for this drop down and set it onto the high purity. Now just simply click on the apply button and apply these changes inside the software. Now just have to close out of it. And I'll simply go for your window search and simply one time restart your PC there for all the changes properly take effect. Then launch your favorite game and enjoy the best performance with the best NVIDIA control panel settings. I hope so you love it. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below. And I will see you in the next video.